Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Bonjour Cuisine. Welcome back y'all. Today, as you can see, I am in the kitchen. I have this delicious pen seared pork chop that you are going to enjoy. And also, I am going to make it with mashed potato, sauteed zucchini, and with this delicious sauce, mushroom sauce, that is going to pair with it nicely. As usual, my recipes are quick, easy, and simple, so let's get started with this recipe, y'all. I went ahead and chopped the potatoes and put them in a bowl of water to stop the oxidizing process. That way, your potatoes will not turn brown, y'all. So the other thing that I wanted to let you guys know, if you're trying to follow a recipe, and at the end of the whole process, your food doesn't turn out the same way. The problem could be the kind of um, kitchen tools that you are using. So I just wanted to quickly show you what I am using here so that um, you can have the same result. I have my whisk and I also have my peeler, which I peel all my potatoes. And I'm going to use this tool here to mash the potatoes. I also am going to use this saucepan. I will put a link for you guys if you want to purchase these on my Amazon. This is the saucepan that I'm using to boil the potatoes. And I'm going to make my sauce and of course pan seared my um, pork chop in this as well. So the other thing is when you're in the kitchen, it's about finding the, your process to not spend a lot of time in the kitchen. So the first thing first, I am going to boil these potatoes. So it's all about the process, y'all. This is gonna take me a good 10 to 15 minutes. In the meantime, let's chop those zucchinis. Now, this is the size that I want for my zucchinis. I'm keeping them nice and long like this. So, done with those. The next thing we're going to do is season up the pork chop. I am going to keep this simple. What I have here is oregano, garlic, um, seasoning, salt. So now I'm going to let this warm up on medium-high heat so I can start the searing process. My pan is nice and hot. I am going to add the vegetable oil. All right, y'all, as you can see here, the meat is looking nice and the kitchen smells so good, but it's not quite done yet. So what I did is pan seared on both sides and I remove it out of the saucepan and I'm going to use the red onions, the mushroom, the minced garlic, the AP flour, the brown sugar, salt and pepper, white wine, and chicken stock. Use the same pan and go ahead and add the red onions, give it a good whisk and go ahead and add the garlic, give it a good whisk. And we're also going to add the brown sugar and the AP flour. I'm using a whisk because I find it so much easier to combine all the ingredients, your preference. You can use a spoon, a large spoon, that's fine as well. Now I'm doing this on medium high heat and I go ahead and add the mushroom, give it a good stir. And I'm trying to create a nice brown roux by the way. So to deglaze, I am going to go ahead and add the white wine. And as you can see, you have a nice thick roux and go ahead and add the chicken stock. I'm using the organic unsalted chicken stock. You can use vegetable stock or water, your preference. I season it up with salt and pepper bring it to a simmer add the jus because it's packed with flavor and go ahead and add the meat i am going to let it um simmer for an extra 15 minutes all right so and i'm looking for a nappy consistency as you can see it's still watery um so we need the nappy consistency which is a little bit thicker so let's go ahead and move on to the mashed potato i'm using um warm heavy cream unsalted butter and I'm going to mash this nice and well until I have a smooth consistency and I season it up with salt and pepper that's all as you can see it's looking really good the consistency is not too thick and not too thin now let's check on the sauce as you can see we do have the nappe consistency the way you can check is if the sauce is coating the back of your spoon just like this. The next thing I'm going to do is saute the zucchini. I'm using my nonstick skillet on high heat, y'all. You need high heat to do this process. And I'm going to season it up with salt and pepper and give it a nice shake once it's nice and 
golden crisp like this it's all set now let's go ahead and plate this dish it's looking elegant like a five-star restaurant nothing is overly seasoned but delicious at the same time let me give this a try right in the comfort of your home you can make this delicious dish um the gravy the mushroom sauce is delicious meat is tender and i like my vegetables with a little bite as you can see it's not soggy i love it so this is how we do it y'all we're about to enjoy this and i'm gonna let kenny try it chef style chef style, chef style. <laughs> dig in babe here the mash is really good with the sauce what type of sauce is this babe this is a mushroom well it's a mushroom gravy is what i'm used to <laughs> this is what you're used to <laughs> mm. and i don't even like zucchinis you don't even like zucchini <laughs> i don't but it's good though. Kenny don't even like it looking at me, but it's good, right? Mm -hmm. it's so good. What'd you do on what'd you do this one? Just salt and pepper. You're gonna upload the video so they can try this way, because this is uh this is really good.